channel. I am Megan and I have just some random fun colors today and I'm gonna do kind of a kind of a floating cup. Um, I'm about as good at floating cups as I am at flip and drags and I get um, I get a bit impatient and then lift the cup. <laughs> I may like to fiddle but for some reason I'm not I'm not patient when it comes to letting the paint out of the cup. Once it's out, I'm patient and can play without um, getting in a hurry, but I don't know. Anyway, that's just the way it seems to be, so we go with it. Okay, so let's see. I'm just going to kind of willy-nilly this. I don't have a plan. Um, so let's just, I'm going to take some of this paint out of here worrying too much about it coming up, but it's quite a bit in there. Okay. Reusing all my cups. I usually peel before I do this, but you know. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, that needs mixed a little bit. These are all just kind of leftover paints. I know this is Perfetto. By the way, that Perfetto coupon code for um, my viewers for 10% off Perfetto is down in the description bar. You have till December 5th to use that if you are interested. Ooh. That was just a hair bit thick. It's really windy and a bit cold outside and I have the heater fan blowing in here but I think my paints are just a bit cold. They were the other night and I had some really interesting cells and I think it was due to the cold but I don't know for sure. Okay, do we have some of this green? It's kind of an acidy green, isn't it? I don't remember where this one came from. It looks like there might be some metallic in there. And I don't know what has silicone in it and what doesn't. So I apologize. Ooh, I think that one might have been lumpy. Um, for anyone who like to know. This is a fly by the seat of my pants pour. Okay. Kind of like that brick red. That was a last minute decision to add that. Let's see. This one I think had some lumps in it. So let's. Maybe not. Maybe just the way it pours out of there. Okay. A little more of this. fluorescent green color. I think this was actually a fluorescent yellow that I added um, some green to. It's more pink. Alright. I think that's that's actually more than enough for a regular old um, floating cup. You want to see a real floating cup, go to somebody, somebody else. This is going to be floating cup-ish. It'll start out floating cup-ish, and then I'll lift it. Okay, so where's my white? Let's pour some white down on the canvas. Actually, let's flip it first. It's a pretty little cup, isn't it? Okay. Ready? Sound effects. Bloop! If you're not using sound effects when you're pouring, and you're not liking your results, that might be the problem. Just kidding. Not really. Okay. Now, let's put some air holes in here. Whoops, that's a bent safety pin. Or a safety pin. Um, I can do this left handed. I'll have to remember to throw this cup away. I'm not trying to reuse it. I don't know if pinprick holes would be enough for paint to come out when I'm mixing or not, but I'm guessing probably so. Okay, so let's see if this will float around. Woo! Let's see if I can get a kind of a swirly thing going. So far it is. Let's see if we can keep that up without it getting... Well, I stopped because I'm afraid it's going to get muddled. That's 
kind of cool, isn't it? Let's put a little more white around these edges. Because I kind of like what it's doing. I don't have enough to cover this, or I might just leave it as is. Oh my gosh, that is super duper cool. Okay. Let's go off the side here. Let's go this way. I'll lose my cup. And that's where the floating cup comes to an end for me. I knew I had way too much in there to do just a total floating cup, but oh my, it's kind of cool. I'm going to cover up that middle part. Oh. Ah! Kind of like that little wing right there. I don't want to mess that up. So, what color should we use? I'm just going to fill this in. Um, it's a bit thick, but I think it'll be okay. I don't think it's too thick, um, but I really want to keep that wing. So, let's see, should we do blue? No, let's do pink. I don't think I have enough. We're going to give it a shot. Not I'll add some of that brick red. Okay. This is cool. A little bit of white in there. Kind of nifty nifty. Like my made up words. That flow, and then I just have this spot right here. And I think I'll go into the brick red, just right here. Oh my! Look, I, a lot of this came off. That's really pretty. I'll do a close up of that. That's gonna make some pretty skin. This is exciting, isn't it? Okay, we need to do our chocolate game. If you're new to my channel, we do a chocolate game. It's kind of like the drinking game, only with chocolate. When I mention a movie or a TV show, you get to have a piece of chocolate, watch a doggy video, a TV video, just do something that makes you smile. There aren't enough smiles in the world, so something that makes you smile. Today was my five-year-old's birthday, so we'll talk about his favorite movie, which is Jurassic World. He loves dinosaurs, as many five-year-olds do. He just loves Jurassic World. So, there you go. Have a piece of chocolate, watch a dog video, cat video, horse video. Or pull out a good movie. Princess Bride. Something that will make your day. Okay, there we go. I am finito. That is really cool, and I got to keep that little wing. That's really neat. Is there a glare? That little wing. Let's do some close-ups. Well, that is just super cool. I love that white right there. Okay. And look at that. That is neat. That's going to make some beautiful skin. I had to do something special with that besides cut it up for jewelry. I didn't even torch it. Okay. Well, it may not have been a typical um, floating cup, but it sure turned out pretty nifty. And there's that little wing again. So there we go. Leave a comment and say hello. I love it when folks just say hello, even if you don't have a comment about the video. You just want to say hi. Hit that notification bell if you want to know when I post videos. And hit subscribe. We will see you next time, guys. And until then, happy pouring!